Hi there, for all you uh, oil painters that are just beginning, you want to do your first painting, start painting. We're going to do this, but we're going to do it lengthways. So we're going to do it this way, lengthways on the, on the 8 by 10. I'm going to show you how quickly you can uh, paint from a white here, on the skyline you do a white, and then you go a little bit with just a tiny little bit of blue. So it's three blues light blue, middle blue, and dark blue. And you just paint it all in to white at the skyline. And then you do the reverse on the C. You go from dark on the back here and you paint it. Three different kind of blues, dark, middling, and very, very light, nearly white at the end here. Okay? And the sand goes the same way, more or less. You know, you can do your sand after. We'll show you the sand after. So let's do the, the sky and the C first, and then we'll go to this. It shouldn't take us too. We'll say I started at five to four, so it's five minutes. I have waxproof paper on my board here, so you can just clean up, take it off, and chuck it away when you're finished. I've mixed the uh, paints with a little a palette knife. The blue, the light blue, that's white with this blue, and then pure white. So I got three colors, and these will mix in to cause a third color as I'm going along. So what I'm going to do is start painting, and I've got a paper towel, I wipe my knife off to keep the knife clean when I mix it. What I'm going to do is start painting, and we're basically going to do a, um, uh, a skyline in here, where we think that we're going to have um, the sky, say, let's say halfway across like this, right? So I'm going to paint that across first. There she goes. I've also put 50-50 with my little uh, eye drop thing here, where there's a little drop thing in there. I put 50% linseed oil, 50% thinners, and I drop it, three drops into the paint here, one drop feeling, depending on how I feel. This just makes the board cover quicker. So we're gonna put that in there. There's the white, right? Very, very difficult. And we're gonna go light blue in here, see? Right? It's already coming together, look, it's already starting. How quick, huh? There we go, I'm getting a light blue in there. With the oil, it just covers the board better, you know, for the whole basic run. See, and now we can start mixing. I planted this board up just so that for you people watching the camera. So now I start mixing a little bit of this and this in, see? And we get this third color in here, right? Which will be in here. There you go. Don't make a big thing about it. Don't make it too difficult. Dark color on top. I'm using also just a um, standard uh, uh, canvas panel. And when you're starting out, it's a good thing to use them. 8 by 10 standard. You can frame it afterwards really easy if you want to. Buy a standard frame. There we go. Now I'm going to mix these three colors together a little. All right and come back to you. It's one minute, two minutes past four, that's how long it's taken me. Here you have it, I've um, put in my three colors, I've got my white down to about here, down to about here, right? I'm using just one standard brush and I've wiped it out a little bit to, to get some white clean. Now I'm gonna put in some uh, clouds from angles like this, you know, maybe over here a bit. You can use a putty knife too and do this, right? Right, and just add some clouds in for starters here. It's beginning to shape up nicely. Right, getting more white down here. My brush is a little dirty still. Trying to use one brush so you can show, show you how it's done. A little bit of you know, spots in here coming down to the edge water, the clouds and the blue. Okay, you can take a palette knife, a little palette knife like this here, and you can clean it off and take a little white, putting it at a 40, 45, you take a little bit of white and you smear it on one side and you can make your clouds like that too, see? You know? Now they're blobs, right? So you'll be like, oh my god, what am I doing? All these blobs, right? 
right? I mean, that's not the greatest looking thing, is it? So I got two fan brushes here. I just bought one lately at about $12. It's a cheaper one, which you could start off with. It's a little stiff, actually, which isn't good. And this is my more expensive one, most like $16 or $25. Very soft altogether. I'm going to start off with the rougher one. And what we're going to do is try to blend this in a bit. It's too, it's too stiff. I left it go again, like I always do. So, here I go. I'm going to start making clouds with my fan brush, brushing lightly, right? Anybody can do this. I've had kids do it. In one of the paintings I just showed in the beginning, it was like a 15-year-old, three 15-year-olds did it, right? Here we go. We're going to create a sky out of this. You can do different variations. I love to pull into the center and then go across. But you can see it forming. And you don't want to leave your brush get too, um, too much paint on it. So you wipe off the tip of your brush. Try to keep your brush dry. And the trick is the dryness of the brush. And then you crisscross a little. Right, and then you start getting your skies. You can do round, some people like doing this swish, right? Depends what you like and the look afterwards, you know? I like this going to the center sometimes because it draws your eye in. But these paintings are more about kind of old style painters used to do this. And I'll draw mine in. So I'm drawing this to 45 down towards the center and this to 45 down. And when I get to the middle, I start doing that, right? You can see what I'm doing. I'm going straight down, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, and then maybe on the on this line here, I'm going to start. It's getting a little color in here again. I've got to wipe it again. Now you come back down here and you clean it up. So I'll keep doing this for a little bit more. Right? See how it's cleaning up? And I'll keep doing this until it's like a soft focus. I might even crisscross a little nut so it's not all going one way. Wipe the brush again. Okay. So I'm going to do this for a couple minutes and I'll show you again. And it's like seven minutes past four. I have a smaller brush right now. I'm just taking a little of the kind of middling blue here and trying to make little marks in the, the distance. Give it a little bit of effect of, um, you know, infinity, right? And, you know, I take a little dark and put it in here a bit, you know. Give us a bit more dramatic effect here. Yeah, you want to kind of emphasize some dramatic stuff here, yeah. There we go. Give her a little bit more in there. And you blob it around a bit. Don't get too uh, crazy worried about how it looks when you're doing it. Because it's all like wipe this. i got to get some cleaners yet to wash the brushes. But I'll show I'm going to fan brush that out again. Wipe my fan brush. Let's start trying to smooth this straight across a little bit. see it slowly forming a sky in the background. I'll draw it down a little and I'll be ready for my water. I'm going to draw this the wrong way. All of a sudden I'm going the total different way to what I was doing, right? And this, you know, it just gives it some more. See the dark blue in there, where I just put it in. Create a little bit more dramatic in it, right? Brush is getting a little wet. I'm not too sure about that. Squint if you're wondering how to look at it. Have a squint and see it. Yeah. That's pretty good. We're going to leave it like that for time and move on to the water. Okay. There you have it. Just do close up so you can see what you've got. That's what you've got in the sky at the moment. That's the starter of your painting. It's 10 past 4.